Hello, my name is Ali Very Illustrations and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make a GIF using Procreate and Photoshop. Firstly, we'll start off by drawing an image using Procreate. I had already had an image in mind, so I just copied and pasted it into a blank Procreate file. So firstly, we'll start by how you have to know how you want the animation to be animated. A good idea for this is to start by having sketches on several layers overlapping to work out how you want the animation to play. Once I had my idea ready, it was time to get to work. I decided that the best way for me to make this animation would be to start from a final artwork and then work back by erasing each bit slowly, working from one direction to the other. If your animation is small, you can use Procreate to create the GIF or video animation. In your file, go to Settings, then Canvas, and then turn on Animation Assist. You can edit each layer individually, but you cannot have three layers separately for moving parts. All the layers must be flat, making moving things smoothly and only 10 layers a bit hard. This is why I exported the layers by going to Settings, then Share. Under Share Layers, you, you select PNG files and it will export all the layers. So once all my layers were ready and exported, it was time to import them into Photoshop. So firstly, you create a new file. I like to use 400 pixels by 400 pixels. In Photoshop with your new blank file, go to File, then Open and select all the layers for the animation. You are then going to have to drag in one layer at a time from each individual file. You can do this by hitting Ctrl C, click the blank file, then Ctrl V. To place it in place, you can use Ctrl Shift V. This places each image at the exact same spot as the one before. Once that's done, you can set up rulers in case around the image and then continuing to copy and paste each layer to make sure everything is aligned perfectly. Once your layers are ready and organized, you can then click Window and lower down the menu, you will see Timeline, or if it's already activated, you'll see it at the bottom of your open file. This will allow you to create a frame by frame video or GIF. Once you created the timeline, your layers will become frames. All that is left to do is adjust the length of the layers and make sure they are in the right order. If you organize your layers before creating the timeline, you can select all layers and drag them into the video group. This will automatically have them in the order you organized as seen above and in one layer, making it a much more easier process. To track how long your animation is, the bar above the layers are measured in seconds. This gives you an indication of how long the animation will be. For this animation, I made it 1.5 to 3 seconds. Once you are happy with your file and speed of the animation, you can go to File, then Export, and then Save for Web Legacy. And in the Options page, select GIF in File Type, then you're all set. Good luck in making your next GIF. If you enjoyed this video, please consider commenting about what you liked in this video and any suggestions you have for future how-to videos. Please also consider subscribing so that you can keep up to date with the videos that I post. Bye!